What's good guys, my name is Richie and today I'm going to show you how I do my zoom transitions. First of all, you take an adjustment clip, you put it over a clip, make sure it's aligned, then you reduce its size by 10 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you right click on the adjustment clip, then go to the fusion page, then you drag a transform node, you go to the start, you keyframe the size, Go to the end of the clip, then keyframe the size, then go to the first. Let's go here. You change this value to 1.3, whatever number, as long as it's higher than 1. But 1.3 is this perfect sweet spot. Okay, then you go to the spline tab. You press Ctrl A, then press S, then move this thingy downwards like this and move the other thingy like this you want to make sure that there's movement in this area so you don't want it to be linear so yeah there we go we got our transition but now since we want it as a preset we need a keyframe stretcher Yes, I pressed shift and space, by the way, click this, source start, you put in zero, then source end, you basically just put the last keyframe on your transform node, so it was 68, right here, put this here, 68, you do the same thing here, zero, 68, Boom, you're done. Now you can move this up in the line. You've got your zoom right now. You can copy the clip. Put it here. Put it here. Now this is the showcase. Pretty smooth, right? Okay, but there's only one major flaw. Major flaw on this one. Is that... Um, Let's remove these. Let's say you have a you have shorter clips and you try to put this adjustment clip over. Try to start it. And there's like some blank blank screen. Um, it's basically just because uh, the keyframe stretcher, from my experience, just works if you if the clip is uh, longer than like this one. It only works if it, the clip was like this long. Then it would work. Then there's no blank screen. Also, one more thing I wanted to add, if you want to. Do the transition uh, that goes like uh, inwards. You just go to the transform part and uh, you just do the reverse right here in the size. You click on 1, then go to the end and click 1.3. You go to the spline, just basically do the same thing like this. So yeah, this is this was my tutorial. I hope you guys learned how to do the zooms. I would be happy if you subscribe and like. That would motivate me. And yeah, see ya guys.